Yo, this is Fredo and you're behind the scenes at my Rolling Stone UK cover shoot. All my albums are kind of personal, but this one's, there's more aspects to my life now, so there's more to speak about. I just want to tell my story and just whoever likes it, takes it. And I, I never really set a goal, because you never know what can happen with music. So yeah, I just made, try and make the best music I can and tell my story and just put it out. I've improved a lot, I think. I started and I just started like writing the deep end. My first song was big, so I never had time to like practice or improve. So I've been having to like do that while I'm rapping like, and people can listen. So I feel like that's the main thing I've gotten better at actually rapping. And, um, my life's just improved. It's been a blessing, so I've got a lot of stuff to talk about and I've been around the world and stuff like that. So much has changed from when I first started. Everything really. About three or four months after I dropped my first song, I went into a petrol station out of London and some guy recognised me. And I knew, I knew from there something's different. I didn't know what I don't know. It's a lot of responsibility and it's a lot of pressure. I feel a lot of pressure now, so I had to step up my game. It's not just about what I got going on no more. And it's a different kind of responsibility. I always had responsibilities, but a child's a different type. She's funny, you know, she right now, but she just makes me laugh, you know. Yeah, I couldn't really point into words like how I feel about when I look at her, but yeah, it's just a blessing. It's hard, it's hard to say my past because like, I still go where I'm from, all my friends are still there. So I'm always in tune with like, if you want to call it my past, it's not really my past, it's just my life. But how I used to live and like, how I used to work before rap and stuff, obviously has changed since I've done music. But in terms of like my past life, all them people are still present. My mom, yeah, my mom inspires me. She just works real hard. She had me when she was 18. She's been um, working hard to um, make a better life for herself. She grinds hard for years, so she's a woman, so it just it just goes to show that men have to work as hard. Beats inspire me, you know. Beats, if I hear a beat, I like, that's what really inspires me. There's a whole bunch of rappers I like, but, um, None of them was like made me want to rap. I really wanted to rap because it was just like um, something you do in London where if you feel like you want to represent your area. I just felt like um, most areas in London had a rapper, but around them times, my area was kind of quiet for it. We had, we, we, had, we had a big one as well. It kind of was not focused on rap too much. And like some young, the, my age group was coming through and stuff. So I just tried it out. I always liked clothes and stuff, and I had maybe in the back of my mind, like, maybe one day I'll start a clothing brand or something, but when I had my door in 2020 around Corona times and, like, music was unsure, that's when I really started it. I met up with some manufacturers and started designing clothes. Been putting clothes together from, like, zips I like, or, like, I have, like, a um, top from 2017 with a zip I like as a concept and pockets, and I just put everything together that I like into, into a clothing brand, yeah. And that's how it came about. Like some luxury streetwear, like you could go to the gym in it, you could go out with your girl in it, you could go to a nightclub in it, um, you could go and just chill with your friends in it. I wanna just cater for everyone, yeah.